Since protons only have an atomic mass of one and neutrons only have an atomic mass of one, all atoms are very close to being a whole number in mass. So 15, 16, and 17 for this oxygen example. The thing is, is that when you look on the periodic table, you'll notice that a lot of the numbers are not whole numbers. They are somewhere in between, um, and that's not possible if we're talking protons as one atomic mass unit and neutrons are one atomic mass unit. It should be a whole number. What these numbers represent is the atomic weight, and the atomic weight on the periodic table is an average of all the isotopes. So if you think of it in terms of people, where we have different size um, people, atoms are the same way. You can have um, smaller atoms, like this uh, oxygen 15. You can have larger atoms, oxygen 16. And then you can have even larger atoms. These are all what's called isotopes. Isotopes are atoms that have a different mass. The reason why they have a different mass is because they have a different number of neutrons. Oxygen 16 has an extra neutron. Oxygen 17 has an extra neutron. Otherwise, they're identical. So if you want to find an average, what you need to know, you, could, you would think that the average weight, uh, if you had, well, if you did have only one oxygen 15, one oxygen 16, and one oxygen 17, your average weight would be 16. But in when you look in nature, you often don't have only one. Sometimes you have um, less or more, meaning you can have different percentages. So to figure out our average weight, we take how many, what the weight of the oxygen, which in this case, we know it down to um, more significant figures or more decimal points, is 15.067. That's the mass of oxygen 15. And we have 0.309% of all isotopes are oxygen 15. So we multiply this by 0.309. It represents how many oxygen 15s you have. Then we've got to add it to the mass of oxygen 16, which is 15.698 in this example, even though that's this is just being used as an example. And the number or percentage, most of these atoms, are that, meaning 94.716 of all the isotopes are oxygen 16 in this example. So 94.716. And then we add up 16.792, um, which represents the mass of oxygen 17, 16.792, and we add that to how many there are, which is 4.975. Now, that math gets us the total weight of all these oxygen atoms, but we don't want the total weight, we want the average. So we've got to divide by how many atoms there are. Since this is a percentage, it always adds up to 100. That's going to give you the average, which in this case is 15.750. And the units are atomic mass units. So 15.750 atomic mass units is the answer. All of these are um, recorded or calculated the same way. You're going to take these two numbers and multiply them by each other. 
And the answer that you get when you multiply the percentage times the mass, I'm gonna 50.828 in this example, that gives you a mass of all those isotopes, atoms of that isotope. So 1515.79. Then we're going to do multiply the next two numbers by each other. And 54, so 54.961 times 52.105 equals 2,863. And then the last one, we're going to multiply these two numbers by each other, the 15.217, and then multiply by 52.722. Eight oh two point two seven. We add these three numbers to each other and divide by a hundred to get our answer for this. In this case, let's do that. Two eight six three plus fifteen point seven nine. And then we're going to divide that by a hundred and we get 51.81 atomic mass units. And that is the average weight of all those isotopes of chromium from this example. The last one, same thing, where we take the two numbers um, of the percent abundance times mass, multiply them by each other, and then add them all up. And when you do the math, um, you get 748.635 um, when you multiply those two numbers, 1178.41 uh, when you multiply these two numbers, and when you multiply the last two numbers, you get 4022.887. Add those up and you get 5,944.99 and you divide that by 100 to get your answer and that is the average atomic mass of all the isotopes.